Hi everyone, welcome to this Jenkins tutorial, how to run a JMeter test with Jenkins 2.0 pipeline and GitHub. My name is Jason Silverman. Uh, I am with CA BlazeMeter. Uh, BlazeMeter provides a SaaS platform for load and performance testing, including as part of the continuous integration process. Uh, the release of Jenkins 2.0 in April 2016 has introduced a new project type called Pipeline. Um, for those who might know a little bit of the background, for those who are unfamiliar, during the last few years with new software development methodologies appearing and in, uh, in increasing ad adaptation of them, uh, this resulted in Jenkins freestyle projects uh, not fully covering everyone's needs in every, uh, anymore, as the number of automated tasks, which normally happens between the commit and publishing the new version to production, has significantly increased. So that's why Pipeline, which previously was only available uh, through external plugins, um, is now uh, comes out of the box, uh, and it perhaps is the central feature in Jenkins 2.0. Uh, it enables you to build Jenkins jobs in the form of simple text scripts, in fact, it's a custom DSL on top of Groovy language, instead of defining the scripts in the Jenkins UI, you can orchestrate your CI processes from commit to delivery using powerful pipeline scripts, which are version control systems friendly and human readable, and then track their progress and status directly in the Jenkins dashboard. Now, before we go any further, I'm assuming here for the sake of this video that uh, you already have a working build step with an execute with executed JMeter tests against your application. Um, if you don't have that, uh, I would encourage you to pause this video right now, go to uh, a different tutorial called Continuous Integration 101, how to run JMeter with Jenkins. You can find that tutorial either via searching for it in YouTube or in our YouTube channel, which is called BlazeMeter Support, you can find it there. Uh, you can also find it on our resources page, which is at blazemeter.com slash resources. resources. Uh, you can find that there as well. So watch that video and then come back and continue uh, from where you left off in this video as well. So today I'm gonna go over how to run a JMeter test with Jenkins 2.0 pipeline and GitHub. This enables you to pull the complete pipeline script from the repository and lets you manage all changes in your Jenkins project under SCM. Uh, no changes are lost, all changes are documented, and it's much easier to manage and maintain your Jenkins project. So let's look at the steps of how to do that. Uh, so uh, the first thing you need to do is install Jenkins 2.0. Uh, it's pretty easily done. Uh, you can do it at the URL you can see on the screen. It's jenkins.io uh, slash 2.0. And if you have any specific questions uh, about the installation, you can go to this URL, which is a wiki page uh, with a lot of details. So check that out as well. Once you have Jenkins 2.0 ready, create a Jenkins pipeline script using Groovy for running JMeter. Pipelines are defined using Groovy-based DSL, so Jenkins and Java APIs can be used to define the job. In this example, which you can see on the screen, I'm running a JMeter script I created called Jenkins underscore demo one dot JMX. The next step is you need to upload the Groovy script uh, they created to your GitHub repository, which you can see. And now you can see it called pipeline script, updated, updated pipeline script in the, uh, in the uh, repository in GitHub. Step four, uh, create a new Jenkins project. In the Jenkins dashboard, click on new item and then click on pipeline. Next, you can see these on the screen. You want to check the boxes called GitHub project and build when a change is pushed to GitHub. Uh, you can uh, and set their, uh, the GitHub repository project URL, which you can see there as well. Um, next step is you need to configure your pipeline. So you need to change the pipeline 
script from S, choose, sorry, choose the pipeline script from SEM option to pull the pipeline script you created from your GitHub repository. And finally, once you have done all that work, save the work that you've done, click save. And that's it. Those are the, the, the basic, that's the basic process in how to, to do this. But I also want to show you now that you can make changes at any time and everything is automatically updated and uh, everything is great. So let me show you how to do that. As I said, you can, Jen you can change your Jenkins project using the pipeline script in your GitHub repository. All changes are saved. Each change will trigger your build and you can manage your project easily and enjoy all of Jenkins capabilities without needing to change anything inside Jenkins itself. Uh, in this example, we changed the pipeline script in GitHub to run 250 virtual users on my JMeter script. Uh, previously, I was running uh, 300 virtual users. So we're making a change here and let's see what happens. So you can see that the changes are now in the Jenkins project. And the changes triggered the Jenkins job. Uh, that's it. Basically, you can uh, now easily and efficiently run pipeline scripts from your GitHub repository on Jenkins 2.0. Before you go, just for some more information, uh, we've run a series of these Jenkins video tutorials. Um, two of them that might be useful for you are Continuous Integration 101, how to run JMeter with Jenkins, and also another one we did called Getting Started with Using the GitHub Plugin for Jenkins. You can find, find all of these Jenkins tutorials, as I mentioned, on our YouTube channel called uh, BlazeMeter Support. You can also find it on our resources page, which is um, I'll show you in one second. For more information about GitHub, go to github.com. For more information about Jenkins, it's at jenkins.io. Um, I haven't really talked about it all BlazeMeter in this particular tutorial. As I mentioned, BlazeMeter is a cloud-based platform for running load and performance tests. Um, we have a free version, uh, so if you want to read more information about it and even create your free account and to play with the tool, go to www.blazemeter.com. Uh, also check out our blog, which is uh, filled with information and a ton of great articles on Apache JMeter, Jenkins, CI, and CD at blazemeter.com slash blog. Um, this is our resources page, which you can find, as I mentioned, all the Jenkins tutorial videos, as well as webinar recordings and white papers and a whole lot more uh, at blazemeter.com slash resources. Finally, if you would have any additional questions or would like to request a demo about Blazemeter, please contact us at sales at blazemeter.com. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.